The administration of roles and permissions is a fundamental part of security management within GeneXus Enterprise AI, as it allows you to define which actions and functionalities users can perform according to their role within a project. Instead of assigning permissions directly to users, permissions are managed through roles. Users then have roles assigned to them and thus control their access to actions in the back office and also determine access to specific assistance within the front end. Well, roles are created and edited within each project. When a project is created, four default roles are generated that allow different levels of access and functions. Project member. Uh, this role grants access to the back office to work with the project, including creating AI assistance, viewing requests, viewing and creating API tokens, among others. The project administrator role. This role includes the project member role and also allows working with the members list and defining roles within the project. And the role of access to all the project assistants. This role grants access to the front end, to all active project assistants. And there is also the role of access to project assistants without membership. This role provides access only to the front end and the assistant configured for it. This role is intended for situations where it is necessary to give access to certain project assistants. I'm without the users being registered members of the project, so it cannot be assigned directly to the users. It is important to note that this role is usually visible in Genexus Enterprise AI environments, environments that allow access to the front end to non-member users, such as installations where access is managed through other mechanisms. If this option is not enabled at a general level in the environment, then the role will not be visible. The role source can take two values, system or user defined. It takes the value system for roles that are defined by default when the project is created. If a new role is created, the value will be user defined. A role can be classified as either back end or front end. Back end roles implicitly grant front end access. If you are in an environment where you have the role of access to project assistance visible without membership, or you have user defined roles, you can edit the corresponding permissions to define the available AI assistance, as we will see below. In addition, each role displays a quick reference to the users assigned to it. So let's create a new role. We select the project we want to work on. And in the menu, under the project options, choose roles and then create new. Enter a description of the role, which also acts as the role name, and the external identification, which has a default value. This value can be changed at a later time by editing the role. Uh, well, the defined roles can be edited, deleted, and assigned to users. Only roles that are not assigned to any user can be deleted. To assign attendant permissions to a role, select this option and indicate the wizards to be included. To confirm, select that and you will see the list of assistants enabled for the role. To delete an assistant, just use the delete option at the level of each element. Now what happens when a user accesses the front end? Head front-end users with a specific role assigned will only see the AI assistance included in that role. If a user has multiple front-end roles assigned to him, he will see the combined list of AI assistants included in all his roles, even if the assistants are repeated in all roles. Users who have a back-end role, role can see all project assistants in the front-end. This is because the back-end roles Roles imply full access to the front end. Next, we will see how to manage members in a project. 